Oh hey, about the project we talked last week. How's it going? Yeah, not much progress. I'm still waiting for documents from the procurement department. Huh? How can it be? The customer is latching me already. So pick it up. Right away. Hey, procurement, about the project. How's it going? Uh, not much progress. I'm still waiting for approval from the finance department. I'll get to them now. Hey, finance, about the project. How's it going? Not much. The production haven't even contacted me yet. What was the customer orders again? Who will plan the schedule? I need data for accounting. Where's my payroll? Why? So many trouble. So unorganized. So lengthy. What can I do so that I can oversee and manage my organization easily? Why don't you use this? ERP. ERP? What is it? What is ERP? E stands for Enterprise, R stands for Resort, and P stands for Planning. So ERP is Enterprise Resource Planning. The Enterprise Resource Planning is the system or the software that indicates your organization essential department on one platform, allowing you to see your overall performance in one go, whether it be supply chain, manufacturing, service, accounting, customer relationship, management, or any other process. ERP can amplify or even automate them all for you. By implementing ERP in your organization, your business will have 1. Improve efficiency 2. Increase visibility 3. Enhance communication and the last one 4. Secure data The structure of ERP is further divided into 5 groups. A. Customer Resort Management or CRM, which manage relationship between customer and keep track of them. B. Material Resort Planning or MRP, which help in buying material and managing production. C. Supply Chain Management or SCM, which manage material for logistics and transaction of goods through the organization. D. Finance Resort Management or FRM, which take care of financing and accounting and create report of them. And E. Human Resort Management or HRM, which administer recruitment of employees and their role pays. ERP also come in for operational ties to suit your business. 1. On-premise ERP. The software is installed on company-owned device, keeping it small and safe in the company. 2. Open source ERP. This type allow the company to inspect, author, and improve ERP source code and tailor it to map the demand. 3. Cloud-based ERP. By using a cloud hosting system, anyone in the company can access the system anywhere as long as they have internet connection. And for hybrid ERP, a combination of on-premise and cloud-based system to have it all. ERP comes with many great benefits. Enhance customer service, promote smooth workflow, improve inventory control, eliminate waste, increase model, decrease ideal time, better delivery performance, keep everything on track, and any more. Oh wow, it's so good! With ERP, my organization will be more organized, efficient, and I can see everything on my bed. First, if you use ERP, President will be happy, employees will be happy, everyone will be happy. Yay! Thank you for your attention. Bye!